Hello guys, BrickClick here, and today we have more LEGO leaks, so stay tuned to find out more. If you do enjoy the video, why not like the video or subscribe and turn notifications to help us get to 70,000 subscribers, but let's get into it. So LEGO Ideas has been on a pretty good roll this year, bringing out tons of sets like the Telephone Box and also most recently the Dungeons and Dragons set. But one set which everyone has wanted to know more information about is of course the LEGO Jaw set which was approved last May. And today we find our first information and first off we have a set number, it's set to be set number 21350. The set will be titled Jaws. When it releases, it is going to come in with 1,490. 97 pieces, so in the middle range these days for LEGO Ideas piece count. And actually for that piece count, a slightly high price at $160. I've gotten to what I think about that in a moment. But in the UK, I expect this one to be coming in at around about £140. And this set will actually get a release date all to itself on August 3rd, 2024. So in the summertime, you will be able to pick up the Jaws set. Of course, like the original submission, we can expect the shark and also the boat. Personally, what I think they could do with that price to piece ratio is they could potentially do a molded shark or they do it like a diorama set for ideas for the first time which i think this one would really lend itself well to and i'm sure just like that original submission we will get the three minifigures included i mean even for non-lego jaws fans they will also like a giant ball which you don't get all too often in the adult style for lego so definitely think this one is going to be a big hit for the lego ideas team i'm sure we'll see images sometime in july so a little bit to wait but at least we know the core details but we do also know more details about now is the lego icons music set which is launching very soon actually we now know that 10334 will be a retro radio which is definitely a unique concept Set. This one will be a buildable object you can display in your home of a retro radio. So far, we know it's going to contain 906 pieces. It should be coming in for $110, so a little bit pricey as well. It's going to be launching actually just a few weeks' time on June 1st, 2024. So, Lego, I've kept this one under the radar a little bit, but there will be a buildable radio coming on June 1st. Personally, I think with that price to piece ratio, they could include a sound break like we saw in the sorting hat, which will be a great new way to use it in the radio. So, it can blast out some traditional radio sounds or making program it to play your own things. We'll just have to see but a vintage radio is going to be coming in June and then in the next Lego icon set is going to be the massive NASA set we finally got images this one if you haven't looked at the details though is set to be set number 10341 the NASA Artemis space launch system coming in with a whopping 3601 pieces making this one an absolutely massive set but actually really good value coming in at $260 and in the UK expect ones are coming in at around £220 it's going to be launching in just a few weeks on May 15th 2024 this one was actually found in an airport obviously earlier as lego haven't planned to reveal this one just yet but we can see it is an incredibly detailed model of the Artemis rocket then it will also have the launch system where you can launch it from i think this one is going to be really good obviously it's not minifigure scale but i think for value in terms of how many pieces you're getting it's definitely good so i think this one will definitely be a pretty strong contender for one of the best sets of the year but then we're going to move on to some of the best promos of the year for may 4th of course we've seen a couple of reveals over the past week but on these selected sets you're going to get four times vip points from april 30th to may 5th that includes the Shin Hati Starfighter vs E-Wing and then we also going to have the Coruscant Republic Guard gunship, the USS X-Wing and then for the big ones the UCS Mos Eisley Cantina and also the ginormous UCS at, -AT. We'll be getting 4 times double VIP points on them which is going to be pretty impressive. Also some sets will be on sale from April 30th to May 5th. Those include $30 off the Ghost and Phantom, uh, $35 off the Buildable Chewbacca and then $15 off the Empress Throne Room. Bear in mind these are confirmed for North America but could vary for other regions. Then LEGO will also be running double VIP points from May 1st to May 5th. Only on selected Star Wars sets though, those include the four Starship collection sets, the two brand new sets launching in May for the 18 plus line, also the brand new UCS TIE Interceptor that is going to be getting double points, all of the currently available uh, helmet lines, even the brand new Phantom Menace Brickheads pack, a couple of the other Brickheads packs, two of the 25th anniversary sets, three of the LEGO Star Wars Battle Pack sets, a handful of the Mandalorian ones all getting double points, two of the LEGO Star fighters, all of the mechs and mag fighters currently on the market, the two 4 plus sets and then a couple of miscellaneous sets will also get double points. Of course there is some massive missing ones off that list including the USS Razor Quest and USS Venator which won't be getting discounts or deals sadly during the May 4th weekend or the whole event which is happening next week. Of course they will be launching the brand new USS TIE Interceptor for $230 or £199.99p and then there will also be the brand new Star Wars book coming in for £130 or $150 with loads of design secrets 
types and prototypes about LEGO Star Wars. For the actual promos from May 1st to May 5th, you'll get the Troop Carrier when $160 or £145 spends, the Yavin Collectible Coin for $90 or £80 spends, and also the AAT Polybag with $45 or £35 spends, I believe. So free promos you can stack with potentially some deals, discounts, and also double points, but only on the sets I've just mentioned. And at the moment, at some third-party retailers across the globe, they are giving away this free UCS R2D2 keychain, which is definitely a cool one, and I'm sure a few of you will have already picked that up as the promotion has begun. But we actually have some more information on the regular playset Star Wars sets, which are going to be launching in August. First off, 7594 is rumored to be a Death Star playset. We now know this one. It's coming in with 100 and 1,000, sorry, 555 pieces for $160. We know the minifigures will include a Cal Kestis anniversary figure, Darth Vader, two Stormtroopers, Imperial Crew member, a Death Star Trooper, two Imperial Officers, and four Unknowns. So essentially, this one sounds like a Death Star playset, a little bit similar to the Yavin playset we saw last summer. And things are going to get interesting with 75396 being the Desert, Skiff, and Sarlat pit. This one coming in with 558 pieces for $90. We now know this one will include Luke Skywalker with a brand new hairpiece, Han Solo, Chewbacca, Lando, Boba Fett, and Weequay. Essentially, the build will include just a small Sarlat pit and the Desert Skiff explaining the high price to piece ratio, pretty similar to the 2017 set. But actually, where things get interesting, an unknown anniversary minifigure is going to be included in this set. Of course, we've also all the anniversary figures were rumoured, but it seems one is going to be wrong and there will be one included. An unknown one will be included in the Desert Skiff. I think if we look at the poster which was released last year for the LEGO Star Wars 20th anniversary, there's a 9 num minifigure included on that. So I think that could potentially, I'm not confirmed, but it could potentially be the minifigure which is going to be the new unknown one. If you look at an overview, it does now mean that Young Leia or R2K T will be not an anniversary figure. Still come in, just a regular figure in the set. Only time will tell. It is a bit of a mystery around that one for now. And we also know that Sen 5 392 will now come in with 1,186 pieces for $100. That one is the set which is going to include the Young Leia minifigure. Potentially that could be an anniversary minifigure and the set could be a buildable droid or something like that. We'll just have to see. But lots of interesting stuff going on with LEGO Star Wars. And of course, if you ever do any information about that or any other stuff, you can message me over on Instagram and follow me over there for the latest LEGO news. Or you can message me on BrickClicker um, leaks at gmail.com. But yeah, um, lots of interesting stuff going on with Star Wars. Then we got our first look at the LEGO Johnny Thunder minifigure, which is going to be appearing in the LEGO City Jungle sets. The legs are apparently wrong, but the torso, face expression, and also the hat will be the thing that we'll see on the final image for uh, Johnny Thunder, which I definitely think is looking pretty good. We also know that the brand new jungle sets will also be in a navy blue and orange colour scheme, so I think these ones are going to be pretty good at launching in June. We also got a better look again, once again, at all the brand new animals coming in those little LEGO City Jungle sets, including two brand new colours for the large crocodile and the baby one, and even that brand new leopard design come in in one of the Disney and Candle sets. We also got some information on the actual sets themselves being 60440, the yellow delivery truck, coming in for 1061 pieces for $100. We now know the build will include four pallets, with two pallets of Lego and also an astronaut figure Brit built out of Lego, which is being transported. And the set will have some side builds of a blue forklift truck and also a hot dog stand. Another set will include 60422, the seaside harbour with cargo ship. That one's going to be coming in with 1226 pieces for $110. That that one will include a leisure area with a seafood restaurant, an ice cream shop, and also a beach and pier. But there will also be another section to the build, which will include an industrial area with a crane, and the cargo boat itself will be in an orange, green, and white color scheme. Will accommodate two containers and will be equipped with a jet ski and also a pedal board. That one definitely sounds promising. Another one will include 60421, the robot world roller coaster park. There's one at 986 pieces for $100. The roller coaster itself will be in lime green roller coaster tracks and will also include a side build of a robot mech ride. There will be some other stuff including a gaming zone with slot machines, a bar, a cash register and a DJ booth. 60409 will be yellow mobile construction crane with 1,116 pieces coming in for $110. That one will include a foldable arm, a lowerable hook and also a foldable supporting arm. The crane will be mobile so standly not stationary and it will be mounted on a vehicle with a whopping 16 wheels. There will be of course a portable toilet for it to lift and four minifigures included uh, three workers and also an architect. So definitely some good stuff coming for LEGO City. We also know some information about a little small vignette style promo coming at some point being 40698 being the firework celebration. This one is going to be coming in with 184 pieces and essentially the build is a brick built wall of the sky with some stickers of fireworks and also stars. At the base of the model there will be a firework just taken off with a smoke cloud and at the top of the model there will be two exploded fireworks and also a box of fireworks to the side and two minifigures including a dad and also his daughter.
Kickstarter is included. So I think this one definitely will be more kid orientated, but sadly, we don't know when it'll be available or any images of it just yet. But I'm definitely interested for that one. And it seems like we're also preparing to release a brand new LEGO chess set this summer after the one retired last year. This one will be 40719, the traditional chess set. This one will contain 743 pieces and should be launching on June 1st. We don't have a price yet, but I presume that one will be coming in at around about $50. It makes sense for that one. But the good stuff isn't going to stop there. As also, we got some more information on the Mini Disney Sleeping Beauty's Castle that we've known. It's going to be Mini Disney Sleeping Beauty's Castle coming in with 528 pieces for $40. We now know it will include the Princess Iora minifigure from the Disney Collectible minifigure series. There's pros and cons to that. People complain when there weren't minifigures. People liked it when there was exclusive minifigures. So a little bit of a difference with that one getting a minifigure we've already seen. But it will be nice to get one nonetheless. That set is launching in June. We got a look as well at the Despicable Me 4 poly bag, including the Minion Jet Board. There's one a nice cheap way to get a Minion for casual fans. I'm sure kids are going to love this one. So it's not too bad of a poly bag for Despicable Me 4 launching on May 1st. We also got an interesting look at some brand new pieces potentially launching for Lego for the rest of the year. This was pointed out by Storm Wars, which have been filed as some patents. We can see a whole range of different elements which could be used in Technic styles, also structural elements and some decorative elements. Of course, these are sketch models based on what the patent is, so they're going to look pretty much like you can see on screen now. Definitely some useful pieces for mock builders, and it'll be good to look in maybe six or nine months' time to see how Lego did use all these pieces in different sets. So, yeah, at least 10 new pieces are going to be launching for the rest of the year, and then some interesting colors for Technic fans, things like that. So, all those are coming for the rest of the year. In the next Lego Star Wars magazine, we will be getting a 501st Trooper. This one, not too bad for a magazine diff for easy army building, but the battle part you can get on a pretty good discount, and you get the other minifigures for the price of the magazine. So, yeah, it is an interesting one for Lego Star Wars. In the next Lego like, Ninjago magazine, and we'll be getting Kalim and Lloyd, I believe. This one has only just released in a set, so it is nice to be getting in a brand new Ninjago magazine launching in a few weeks' time in your regions. And then in the next Jurassic World one, we'll be getting, I believe, is a little feeding pen or an incubator for a baby dinosaur. Once again, nice to get a little baby dino in the Jurassic World magazine. And then in the Lego Friends one, we will be getting a hamster playground, a cute little concept for the Friends sets. And then if you pre ordered some of the Bricklink Designer Program Series 1 sets, Lego have issued official images of their box art, reminding us that they will be shipping hopefully in July. So you can see how these will look when you receive them if you have pre ordered them or if you want to buy any off the secondary hand market when they do start hitting people's orders in July. So yeah, they do look really good. Definitely excited to get my trend shed, which I pre ordered. So they're going to be great. And of course, Series 2 will also be open for pre order in June, which should have some prices on those pretty soon. But over today, I'm definitely excited for the brand new Joel set. Cannot wait for that one. The brand new Artemis looks like a spectacular build and also display model. Cannot wait for brand new Phantom Menace Brickhead. You know, I'm a big Brickhead fan. I'm interested to see what Lego are doing with these brand new City and also promo sets. But that's who's new at 2024 leaks and rumors. Comment down below. What are you excited for? What do you not? If you like the video, subscribe and turn on the some more like videos and this video. Watch any videos on screen now. But guys, keep clicking and breaking. I'll see you all later, guys. Bye bye.